Hello, welcome everyone to the Art So Wonderful and Poetry Pioneer podcast. We want to thank everyone for joining us today. Um, we're going to start out with going over just a few, a few couple of things. Our last contest closed on July 31st and the theme was love and we had over 160 entries from five countries. So we are still going through those and they are all amazing. Thank you everyone who submitted an entry. Um, and we have decided that there will be three winners, first, second, and third place. Each winner will get a copy of the book, The New World Light, Poetic Affirmations to Create Heaven on Earth. And then the first place winner will be the guest on our October podcast. Date is to be determined, but we will announce that once we get closer to it. Hmm. As far as more events, we do have another contest that will be starting up October 1st and off till October 31st. And we'll talk about that more later on in the show for as a reminder um, and that will be the theme of freedom with election season coming up and all the things going on. I feel like we really need to touch into that. So we're going to open up to that to everyone. And that is also free. And the winner of that contest will be the next guest on our podcast. So I'm going to pass it over to my co-host yeah. Bruce. Oh, by the way, I'm Candace Owens. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm going to pass it over to my co-host Bruce to introduce himself and then go over his or go over some events. Well, first of all, Candace, I'm going to. Uh, Owens the Great, the Almighty the Light, shining so bright. We thank you for, you know, to host these, uh, co-host these shows or host these shows. And I really appreciate you as my partner and uh, my friend. And so we couldn't do it without you. So, you know, I'm so glad you opened up the shows because, you know, you are, and you're the brainest of this outfit. Candace is the brains of this outfit. Thank God, you know, she does our flowers, she, she put words in, she got the right right things to say. And so what could I, what would we do without her? I don't know. I mean, I just know, I don't know the hot part of that is good. But anyway, so um, 161 winners, and you said 161? Oh, 160. 160 entries, yeah. Wow. Oh, entries, right. See? Because there's only going to be three winners, as you said. So our first winner is going to be on our on our one of our podcasts or our cable show, right? One of them, probably which one? Podcast or the cable show? We'll say podcast for now. We may okay. change the cable show okay. right now. We'll we'll change it. We got time to change it. And um, they will win that and a book. Um, uh, what's the book name of the book? Say it again. Uh, uh, New World Light: Poetic Affirmations to Create Heaven on Earth. No doubt about it. And that's what we're trying to do here. Create heaven on earth and um, the new world light. You know what I mean? And like everybody get to join in and share light with their light with everyone and the inspiration, their motivations and, you know, their their strengths, what's good, right? And then the second place winner they, and third place winner, they, they um, also uh, receive a book, uh, receive Candace R. Owens' book. My God, affirmations. How wonderful is that? I'm so excited, you know, for that. You know, you know, we took us, I don't know how many days to create that that book, but <laughs> how many days? Like a lot, a lot of days. So yes. we're working on another book. So, but um, so that contest was um love, right? Yes. yes. Now it's called it's love. Love right now, yes. And so so many people sent in uh 160 send us poems all around the world, well, kind of all around the world, and um, with poetry, with the name or feeling or theme of love. And thank you all for doing that. I'm, and once again, I'm Bruce Wilson for Art So Wonderful. And so from Art So Wonderful Poetry Pioneer and Art So Wonderful, here are some other events we got going on. So, so um, September 14th, we have our annual art show at the Courtyard Marriott in Burlington, Vermont, one of the best hotels, probably top three hotels in the whole entire state. And um, we are in the Harbor Room. So people will be able to showcase their art there, artists and um, or individuals who have a passion for art and that um, we choose the art that's going to be there because the room is it, it, in the largest room called the Harbor, Harbor Room. But we still have to have a limited amount of um, art artists there, and guess what, everybody? Everybody artists get a hundred percent of their proceeds. Damn, Candace, a hundred percent, girl. You sure? Wow, what a big deal! I'm telling you, we did an art show with um before, well, since for almost eighteen years now, 
and um we had graffiti graph writers and all kind of people they was getting they was people's buying their um uh, art from two thousand to three thousand dollars a pop man and i was like oh did i say that you get 100 <laughs> percent did i did I say that did i <laughs> you know but you know the people who could easily donate their post some proceeds uh are so wonderful poetry partner so we can continue to do what we do and even get better and so that's September 14th from 11 to 4 p.m. at the incredible Courtyard Marriott near the waterfront, near Lake Champlain, which is so nice. Oh, it's so nice. And then we have, um, it's only cost $10 to enter the door. That's all it costs. But you get free finger foods, and there's a cash bar there. And I think, uh, Canada, I think we discussed about some raffles. You know, you might be able to win them on her books. And she'll be there to sign our autograph books for anyone who buy them and anyone who wins in the um, raffle. And so I'm looking forward, excited for that event. And we have live, live in, uh, music. Uh, I believe Jordan Curl is going to be our entertainer. Um, still negotiate, negotiating how much, but um, I think she's worth whatever it is. And how Jordan Curls, everybody look up Jordan curls c-u-r-l-s her last name curl oh god she's amazing she sings good she's also a pianist she's a poet we gotta get her we gotta make have her say some something on our shows did she did she did a poem on our shows yeah she did and um and so i can't wait i'm so excited for the event and here's another exciting event that poetry pioneer and our show wanted to put on and this is like man this is like our I got to talk to um, the person in the Parks and Rec Department, but I think this is like 20, 20 years doing this event. It's a free event we put on for the community. This one is going to be a little different from the other ones. It used to be three on three, but this is a five on five, full court. And it's a middle school, uh, high school, and college, and, and plus ages to will compete in their, um, in their um, age group. And um, they're gonna win. They're gonna win the Candace, they're gonna win the damn Olympic medal, medal, the gold medal at I think they also they're gonna win medals and um it's gonna be free food, it's gonna be live entertainment, bounce houses for the youth and kids. I that event is I love that event too, it's so incredible. But I'm telling you some world, it's it's a, so many talented basketball players. Man, I'd be out there trying to get my little flow on my little three point shot on or whatever. These people be like crossing over, step back, and you know, <laughs> try to the hole with the finger roll. You got a lot of that event, and it's gonna be incredible. We have our cable show out there, we have our poetry party, and I saw one of our cable show out there to film everything. So, people just tune in on, on our um, our Instagram or on our um, Facebook, and you'll get to see the cable show from these events. And so, oh, hey, Candace, I think that's what we got so far, right? Yeah, these events. So uh, we'll try to go over again before we close, but um, all right, what's, what's good, Candace? <laughs> well, I'm going to open us up with a poem today. Oh, God. Go and ahead. we'll have some topic. We'll just talk about it, okay? And then let's see here. To be authentic to yourself is scary in the world today. To be yourself is so hard because you have to be confident and lead the way. To be authentic, you have to know yourself and having good intentions in all you do and say. Authenticity and confidence and good intentions are like a bright sun ray. They help lead others from the darkness and help others not lead astray. Be true to yourself by being authentic, compassionate, and spreading love every single day. And if each of every one of us tries this, who knows what the world could come could become and portray. Mm -hmm. We can change the world by being ourselves and not running away. We can change the world by supporting others and ourselves and making sure we are present each day. Who said the only way to change the world is to live in fear and just pray? Who says we can't be ourselves and enjoy every day with happiness and play? Who says we can't live our dreams and make a new pathway? Be authentic, be true, be happy, be you, be vulnerable, and most of all, know no matter what, everything will be okay. Wow, that's a good one. Now, is that poem in the book? That's actually on my website. So that's on the, po all of the poems that I read here are actually on the website, poetrypioneer.com, but it is not yeah. in the book. Wow. Um, so. All right. We had to put in one of our books. 
That's yeah, good. we're going to put it together, I think, and do a whole book of just nothing but poems. That's the next That's thing. what I was saying. Yeah. I don't know. Thank you for like listening to my me with my little tiny Northwestern University brain. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I thought that was because the reason why I said that was because I wanted to see um, how people give them an option to see, you know, I know our affirmations are like, man, I, I read your affirmations every morning, every day and they and they makes my they make my day you know and so you know it's like something to live by and if you ain't got nothing for yourself you know, i bet you have to start reading affirmations or we get that book and see the affirmations that's in, in there that's about everything is about positivity everything is about the light shining bright everything is about sharing and helping others and everything is about care care for yourself and 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 just be you know, nothing, all good stuff. You know what I mean, we 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 don't never talk about anything bad because there is no bad. It's all good. If you wake up in the morning, how good is that? Too great to measure, baby. We can't even we can't even measure that waking up each day. And so we wake up in the morning. I don't care if you wake up like Candace did with a um, stomachache, a headache. And, yeah, I don't know what was going on. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is trying to take me down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody about to get through, you know, they get through all the kids try to take down Candace. Forget that. We own it. Oh, it didn't yeah. work, by the way, but it, it was like, good try. <laughs> uh -uh. And they couldn't take you down if they tried. They could try, but whatever, you know, whatever. That, you know, whatever it is, you know. But uh, I'm glad you're feeling so much better. We're all happy that you're feeling better because, like, what you do for me when I get those affirmations, like, I don't know what I'm thinking. Now, I'm thinking about, Okay, I gotta go to the board meeting. I gotta go to the commissioners meeting. I gotta go here, there. I gotta do the help the people with the murals. I gotta work on projects in the you know with with uh, my teams, people who work for me, and, and people who um, we got stuff going on. And so that's on my mind. I never really think about you know a lot. I thank God every day for waking me up. And I go, how more important is it? It's nothing more important in the day than that. God waking up this morning. How wonderful is that? That's too great to measure. I couldn't put a measurement on that. So I already know that. So I wake up like, yeah. And so when y'all read your affirmations, my God, it really, it really makes me um think and and um you know, smile and go by, have something to go by. And I'll be like, Candace. I'll text I'll text Candace, everybody like, where my damn affirmation at? See my affirmation. And she's like, dang, it's you know. Six, six in the I'm not even I'm gone I'm on my way I don't want to send it or whatever she does every day but I'm telling you I've been looking for that affirmation it makes me makes me um um plus you know even plus you know more you know even better because it gives me something to go by and I um can't just always think about these affirmations it's not like something like you know um, like we're not micromanagers for nothing like on nobody because we know if, if you got ideas and suggestions, anybody or, or our listeners, we want to hear because we know you thought about it. You know, like why should I have to go say Mike try to micromanage somebody and that person already thought about it? You know what I mean? You go about what they thought about already. You know, and so we don't. I'm really, we wouldn't say. I don't think we ever say no to nobody. We might say, well, maybe they they can say something on our cable show set of the podcast or whatever it is. But everybody, we we're, we love everybody and we admire everybody for who you are. And um, thank God for you. And thank God for being our part of our team. Because you're a part of our team. We look, you know, we look forward for you. 160 poems. Wow. And the last contest, which was Faith, was 83. Yeah. Big deal. Yeah. All around the yeah. country. Um, no, all around the country. United States kind of sneak up on the, on, on these on people from around the other parts of the world. Yeah, they're apparently taking over. So I have realized either <laughs> I'm not in the right network or algorithm or poetry is just lacking a little bit mm -hmm. behind because over right. in, uh, I mean, we had a lot of entries from like India and all those, and it was yeah. like in Nepal. And I was like, I was really shocked. I was like, yeah. wow. wow. Um, but apparently poetry is really big. And right. so they, I don't know, they make it a priority. No, no, it's all good because United States and is um no catch up coming up. They're coming yeah. up. They're coming up. Uh, they're coming up. So we love our you know our country and our people who lives here. Um, you know, just you know, they just gotta um 
you know, express themselves more. Because of the people in the United States, you know, you got these po poet, poets, you got musicians, you have uh, songwriters, you have singers, singer-songwriters, you have um, drama, people who who are um, in, uh, in drama and in skits and theatrical people in the United States. And, uh, you know, and so we want those people to put those, really put their hats on them or express some of those ideas and send them to us. You know, let's look up poetrypioneer.com. You know, you're going to send them to uh, Candace and send it to us and we're going to say thank you and we're going to share it, you know. And so uh, we want you to, you know, because everybody should learn and hear something really good that you have within yourself. And that's what keep, make the world better. We just try to, you know, you know, let's get let's get heaven on earth here. You know what I'm saying? Let's try to make it good for everybody. And everybody, we need everybody's help. It's not just Canada and I. You know, in the world, we can do this on our own. We ain't trying to not a little bit, not a tiny bit, not even a whatever smaller smaller than a tiny bit. Yeah. Like, I like to say it's a vibe and it is spread to our tribe. Like it will go to where it needs to go, and then it, uh, you know, we're we're gonna yeah. connect with people, and we have. Um, yeah. And so it's exciting to do. No doubt about it. Wow, we love. And then we, I'm enjoying myself. I, you know, I think Kenneth's enjoying herself. And uh, we're having a great time. And, uh, and this, um, being able to do our cable shows and our, um, to do our, um, uh, <clears throat> port, um, our, um, what the hell are we doing now? Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Our contests and podcasts and yeah. table shows and yeah. events yeah. and all the million yeah. different yeah. things we have. But I think the main thing is, is, you know, positivity can only win if it's put out there. And so you just, you have to make sure we just keep putting it out there. And the more people that do it, the more it can, takes over. And so that's the reason I think it's cool that we have so much going on. Cause that means in that every place we go, we're making it better, whether it's uh, just across someone's news feed or whether it's in person at an event that you come to, I think that hopefully by the time you're done, you're going to feel better. Mm -hmm. And like I was just talking to one of our um uh our coordinators who coordinated our shows, her name is Jordan Mitchell, and and I was just uh, saying to her that um you know when we got a lot of you know you guys are you, through our YouTube and all that you get a lot of hits on our sh on our shows and everything, and she said yeah it's, you know they pay attention to the hits on our cable shows, and she's saying she said yeah you know she's excited <laughs> that um. We we get hits on our show. We know we Candace and I. We know we love to see the numbers. You know the hits on our show. But you guess what? We um, our thinking is too great to measure. So it's, you know it's, that's good hit. You know what I mean you know we got two hits. Day. You know we happy. But you know you know because we know what two people can do. What they can share with the rest of the world. Whatever they thinking and ideas and suggestions and who they are and words of wisdom and. Poet, poet, poetics, poetry, you know, same thing, poetry, whatever they got, you know what I'm saying? We know that they can share that with one person, two people, you know how many people that'll reach. And so, but we're excited, but we want you guys to tear that thing up. We want you to watch our shows. We want yeah. you, you know, we're going to acknowledge you. We know we're the type of people like, yay, you need to be on our cable show. You need to be on our um, podcast. And the good thing about Candace and I now, uh, Candace and I now, is that we have another, um, like a TV company in another part of um, the state where we, um, and so now it's going to be, our show's going to reach a lot, a lot more, like everybody will, where I am, a lot of people is going to reach and it's going to go far beyond that because people always send, will send our shows to their neighbor or whatever. And so, so now we're going to um, send our shows and do shows at our other TV company. And um, we're excited about that, you know. We get our get our words out there, and like you know, for us right now, you know, we just want to get better. You know, we just want to help people having on on uh, Earth um, with your ideas, suggestions, and we ain't trying to do this by ourselves. Cause you know, we're in the world, you know, and Jesus Christ and Moses or and all the biblical leaders mm -hmm. will say that they, they had to go preach the gospel to people to help them. You know, what I mean, they just couldn't do it on their own. None of them. You know. Well, and I think we've shown with our innovation that, you know, we'll get, even if you have someone that you don't speak the same language, if you know someone that can come and translate for you, we want people here in the U.S. and we want people all across the world. There is no barriers between us, yeah. right? If you can't, we don't speak the same language, we'll find a problem for that. If we don't have the same religion, not a problem, we'll find the solution. If we don't have 
the same religion, we're still going to connect because what we're doing, the, it's too great to measure, like you said, and there, there's nothing that can stop it. I feel like it's just going to keep growing and growing mm -hmm. and it's just going to be to the point that eventually, and it's not just about us, but we're, I think that's, what's going to make it happen. We're doing this for everything, but us, right. We're I, I know I'm do, not doing this because I wake up every morning. I mean, I wake up every morning and I don't have an option. It's like, you know what? you have to do something today to make the world better. What are you going to do? You know, whether it's open a door for a stranger or giving a smile to someone on the street or just even asking someone how their day's been. Because sometimes someone, even if you don't have that much time to listen, just say, hey, how are you doing? You know, and a lot of people may not give you the best look sometimes, but eventually you're going to make a difference in somebody's life. Um, and I think that's all we're trying to do is like you said, make that and spread. Yeah, and, and that's what I add on to that is that through our show, we have, we've had translators on our show, to, you know, yeah. for, so if you don't speak English, don't worry about it. You know, we'll have, we'll get our translators to, um, to uh, help you, help us all out, understand each other with the right words to use. You know, we just want to, don't want to guess, you know, what it is, you know, we want to, we want the right words. So, so if you speak another language, don't worry about it. You know, you can come on our show, on our shows, our podcast, or our cable show, listen, we have a translator right there, word for word for you, you know. And um, so, so you know, that's we really appreciate. We want everybody to understand exactly what you said. And I think I won our last one is uh, we had a translator for, and man, that person is incredible, you know. In their own way, anyway, everybody's incredible. But this person already was winning poetry contests and and a big deal for where he was, country he's from, and um, he. Uh, just wanted to be a part of uh, our United States, uh, one of our shows in the United States. And and, and Candace, you know, she like grant grant that for that person. That person, um, you know, I think I think we sent that person 50 bucks for, for as a, at the time as a winner. And yeah. they, like, they, you know, we find out like 50 bucks is like a million dollars. <laughs> they were like Rubik's or something. Whatever. Yeah, bro, it's something, yeah. <laughs> Like, you know, we find that person bought bought a Cadillac, you know. <laughs> I don't know about they got a lot. They got oh, yeah, that, but, but still, you know, this it was a big deal. Like, you know, I don't I don't know the comparison or the measurements from well, I think Rubik's to US to US dollars. I don't know about you, Bruce, but you know, when I was raised, mm -hmm. I was not around a lot of diversity as far as you know, going out and having conversation or even trying to talk to people that were different than myself. You know, I went to school, I came home, I hung out with my family, I did sports and then I went home. And now I think we're so, even if we're in the same room, if there's differences, we're so scared to speak about that, right? Whether it's a different language or just a different vibe. And I think that what we're doing, it's like showing, it don't matter. We can make it happen, right? It doesn't matter. Um, and hopefully that, like we said, will continue to keep going. No doubt about it. And, I'm, and like, you know, we, you know, we just, all we doing, we doing this from the goodness of our heart, you know, it's part of our jobs. It's Candace and our job to do this work. It's not, um, it's not, a. Uh, we're not, all we want to do is, is, is get people to be in the right, you know, not, you know, heaven on earth to show goodness to their friends and family and people they don't even know. Because, you know, the way the world is, you want to talk about how the world is a little bit of not, you know, it's so, it's kind of interesting, you know, how the world is, you know, right now. With the, I think it depends on which news channel you watch. <laughs> which channel you watch is going to be which reality you get. So, um, you know, just if you want to make a good and important, just, you know, depending on what world you want to live in is kind of what channel you're on. And so you just yeah. got to find the right channel, the right frequency and get on that and try to figure it out. And I think the world right now, I try to focus on the good and it's hard um, because it seems like we're just bombarded with bad. Uh, but I feel like even if there is a five minute segment at the end of the news, positive connections, that's the part that you need to focus on. Um, and even if there's a million things, and I think that's what I try to do on my affirmations. If I wake up and I'm having a bad day, I'm like, okay, it's going to, I'm just going to pray. You know, I'm having a bad and I think that that's kind of, um, you know, we have to face it because we are where we are. But um, I don't think, you know, if, what do they say? Hold on, let me get back to it. If you keep repeating the same things over and over again, that's the definition of insanity, right? Like if you keep doing the things in history over and over and over and over again, mm -hmm. and you know, I can't remember the exact quote, but there's a quote mm -hmm. about that. 
Um, but I feel like our world's kind of there right now, right? We all have a moment of each day that I feel like if, if, if I hope that we all don't stay in it very long, but that we feel almost a bit of insanity, right? Because the, it's just so overwhelming right now. And so even if it gets you for just a minute, you're like, oh my gosh, there's just too much. I can't, <laughs> you know, you just yeah. got to take that minute and ground yourself and just remind yourself that we're, we were born to do more than work, pay bills and die. We are here for something bigger than this. And if no you doubt. remind yourself that, everything no else eventually disappears. No it's like, okay, I'm here for more than, than, you know, a view or a like, or like I'm, and that's what helps me anyway. So, right. Well, sure. I'm glad you said all of that because that's definitely 100%. But um, another thing, too, is they want to tune in the show. Just look, just, just look up Poetry Pioneer and Art So Wonderful. And there's your channel to look at. Right. That's it. You got to look no further. You know what I mean? If you got any content that you want to add to us, to us, send to us, send it because we want to say it. You know what I mean? It's all good. You know, we don't, we, we only talk about good stuff. And um, so that that's our job, you know what I mean, to um, share everything good to everyone and to learn from others how we can continue to get better. How can we share things to the world, people? And how can, you know, how can you make your day, how can we make your day for real, for real, on a positive, you know, whereas that you can say, you know, I like what Candace says, you know, she's talking about faith and harmony and trust and, you know, and um you know, look out for what's good in life. And, and you know, simple little words like that, I mean, it's so powerful, though, you know. And that's all we're saying. You know? We're not trying to, you know, we're not, we're, you know, everything, like I always say, I tell Candace, Candace, you know, you got to look at what's good. Everything is good, you know what I'm saying? You got to find out what's good and what seem to be bad. You know I mean, what's, find out what's good, what seem to be bad. Even though something seems real damn bad, I bet you find some good at, out of it, you know? I know you have got to. You got to find out what's good about what seem to be bad. Like, I, I always use an example, if if a dog, you walk past a pit bull and then you want to walk past a pit bull and he's sitting there wagging his tail you're like shit I walk past this pit bull he might bite me on the ass or whatever right and then you're like uh he's smiling and he's wagging his tail I walk by him then you walk by him he starts snarling and growling and he's ready to bite you on your ass but then you're like oh, gee. so you go across the street intervention and then you like when you see that dog again you're like what you learn? You learn something good. You know, not to walk past that dog. No, yeah. there's always some good was seen to be bad. And I mean, always, always look for it. Always look at what's some good from a person that you think that might not be, uh, might have some something about them that you, you know, that you think might be bad. But just remember that person is an individual. Me one. That person, it has his own personality. Me one. So that person, one one, and so are you. And everybody else have a one and a one. And so we're all different from everybody, right? So we might not do what that person do because that's not who we are, you know. But always try to find something what's good about that person. You may say, well, you know what? Shit, I don't really like that person. What I mean, not saying I wouldn't like, but I wouldn't do what that person do as it would have who they are. But I really like that person's tie. That guy here has a shy of ass ties, you know what I mean? So you gotta look at what's you find something good about a person every day, who they are. And every what, day, I know this sounds silly. It's funny that you say that. Every day at work, I always make sure that I pick something out on someone and I compliment them. Whether I mean not the same person because they'd be like, Okay, she's weird. Why are you complimenting me every day? Um, but like, like I'll compliment random people or just people that I work with. And so little things like that can make you feel good and also makes the other person yeah. feel good too. No um, doubt about it. And you're the light, you you know, you're the light, you know, people, people will, people, if they look at our shows and cable okay, well, and we always used to light, you know what I mean? You always like be humble and so you can get wisdom and live a long life, you know, they, you know, and then our job is to make sure that people can understand what we're trying to say. You know what I mean? And it's all good stuff. It's nothing, we don't say nothing bad. We don't talk about nobody. We don't, you know, we, 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 like I say, everybody's an individual. There's not one and everybody has their own personality, which is one. So, you know, but they just different from you and I. And so we might not do those things, you know what I mean? Because they, it works for them, it might just don't work for us, you know? So, we don't, we, so whatever it is, but we want to share some universal heaven on earth with people like you know be kind oh you should say i should have you closer just for that since we got like you can say what you guys say but you, you got that be kind point which yeah you, i can find it I can well, find well, okay how at that point right quick you know that's our closing poem you say the closing word you close us out candace our owens you know and then read that 
be kind poem. And I like that poem a lot. Is that in? The, is that in the, any book? That's not. In, that's a poem. I think I did put it in the affirmation. Oh, you did. Yeah, that's I think the you did. Part in the forward. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Open. You and did. Another thing I just want to say: the one of the reasons I'm mainly called to do this is because I think me and Bruce can both say we we've, we've both been at a point in our life where we've had darkness, or we've been in a place where things haven't always been bright, and we remind ourselves daily that we don't ever want to do that again. Right. We want to be living in grace and happiness because that's what we all deserve. And right. if someone poisons the world's water supply, we're all out every right. single living thing on this earth, whether it happens in Cam Cambodia or it happens in the USA, if someone puts something in the water, we're all out. So we are all one, but we are all connected. And the sooner we realize that the sooner we can all be happy because yes. then we fight each other because it's like hey we both need food we both need water what are we yeah. about? <laughs> um it was, it's gonna be a lot easier but sorry i don't want to go on too far no, 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 no. you know i'm like you go ahead girl you know you 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 know how i feel about it you know you i, I feel good when you talk like that it made me feel i'm smiling right now so good and you can see me where other people can but i am so happy well, I just I, I don't want people to ever feel like like we're preaching from a point like we that, that we're just trying to throw stuff on people because it's literally like we've been there and we're just doing what we're supposed to and throwing our hand out like, come on, come on. You don't have to go through that. Come on. Just stay positive. Um, and it, it starts out by just realizing that thy neighbor treat thy neighbor as you would thyself. You know, like you, you we can't be out here doing mean stuff to people and expect people not to be mean to us. Like you got to be nice if you want nice things to happen. Um, so that's why we're going to, I'm going to do this poem. Mm -hmm. Please be kind. Please let's get out of our mind. Please let's leave the evil and drama behind. We can all seek which we wish to, wish to find. We have to take a break and get out of the daily grind. We have to look at what we're truly assigned. We cannot let the world keep heading for decline. We have to wake up as we've been designed. Even though some can see we're all a form of blind. What has happened to mankind? Thing have been, things have become gods and humans have become mine. We are all one. We are humankind. Let's realign. Let's unlock our unconscious mind. We can change the world by breaking free and not being confined. We can reset and redefine. All we have to do is take a deep breath and be kind. Nice. Nice. Um, just another shout out before we go. I There was an online poetry thing on, not thing, contest on Facebook, I guess, that I entered. And you could enter a poem and they would take it and they would turn it into a song. Um, and so that happened and it's called More Than an Avatar and it's linked in the show description on the website, but you should just check it out on YouTube because it's really cool to see something transform from um, words to music. And so, and you can also hear, you know, kind of the vibe and how once you put the, the, and I, I, I guess Jordan Curls has got the best of both worlds, right? Because she writes and she sings, but it's like, you know, you put that stuff together and it's amazing what you can do. Yeah, we're um, going we're gonna to share some of those um, po poems with um, Jordan Curl so she can perform them. But also, uh, once this, once everybody see this show, they will hear your song because I, I yeah. send a link to them, right? And so uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say one thing and then you close us out. But everybody... We got a new show coming up September 9th. Yeah, we do as a cable show. You get to see Candace, our oldest, and you get to see Bruce Wilson from Art So Wonderful and um, Poetry Partner. And it's called Candace Moments. Oh, man. What the hell is she going to be talking about? Something awfully good. I can't wait to see that show. I can't wait to be. I'm the host. So, uh, you know, wow. If everybody loves Candace, our Owens, then they know already, which I know they do. They can't wait to see the Candace moments. We're going to do it every month. She's got something to say. And she, you know, I, I'm saying Candace when she's tough, you know, when she's like, Bruce, we're saying, listen, homie, you know what I mean? We're not even going there, you know, many, many times. Like, okay, there she go. Let me get off. Let me leave her alone. <laughs> but so it's going to be awesome to see her show and see the way she's going to be. And I think, uh, I think I'm going to have a, I think I'm gonna make it live a live show where people can call in. We can do a live show. Um, hey, matter of fact, I think we just might do that. That'd be cool. 
Oh, they can call yeah. in and say what they want to say. So I think we're going to do a live call-in show to Candace Moments. And it's September 9th. I'm going to try to hook that up before I leave our studio here and see what's going on. But go ahead, Candace. Our, All our, right. The light. So our contest, our next one will open. We'll announce. Sorry, let me go backtrack. I'm getting too far. We will announce the winner of our current one that closed July 31st on September 1st. So if this comes out and you entered the previous contest, mm -hmm. we're still in the process of reading through them. I made an announcement on my social media. It's Poetry Pioneer 2021, if you want to follow me on Instagram. Um, and then I also will post up on the website, poetrypioneer.com. Stay up to date for that. We will have a new contest, as we said, opening October 1st, closing at the end of October, October 31st. The theme is going to be freedom. So let freedom ring and let's hear what your words have to sing. So let's send in the words and let's see what you have to say. Wow. Um, I really enjoy it all too. So I'm looking forward to it, but that's all I wanted to close with was just throwing that little mention about the contest. So, so thank you very much. And thank you everyone for tuning in on our podcast for our poetry partner and our so wonderful podcast. And, you know, we love everybody. I'm, I'm always happy and smiling when I, you know, talk with Candace and, you know, she, I tell her probably every day, you make me feel good when I read these affirmations, you know, and she know I do, you know, but anyway, so I'm go ahead, Candace. You say the last word. You close this out. Go ahead, girl. You said it, but you. All right. Be the light. It is our birthright. That's all I'm going to say. And September 9th is the Candace September moment. 9th. Yep. Candace, Candace is And then if you, <laughs> yeah, so good. we'll see how that goes. So. <laughs> All right. I know it's going to go. It's going to go in two days. It's going to be great. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah. All right, Candace. Nice All talk. All right. Talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Bye.